You can also check my YouTube channel. There's a video like 400 command points uh, laborers against 200 command points ants. You would be surprised to see how much damage those little labor laborer workers from Isengard are dealing, uh, damage they are dealing to the uh, ants from Rohan. This is actually insane and you will see what I mean soon. I mean, that's not gonna be enough. Carnage ability will be used. Lourdes is really strong hero, by the way. Uh, look at that damage from Lourdes. He almost uh, killed one one end before he actually moved out of the end thing. Um, and there we go. And uh, the end will go down. Look at this damage from the laborers. But they got just trampled down. You need more and more. He should be making more and more and move forwards with them. I mean, he is still doing a great job here controlling the map. But he needs to do something. He's not even giving up the end thing. He's gonna make more ends now. Really, that's something we don't see that often. I mean, Orange did that, I think, against Fishies, Isengard on Forts of Eisen, and everyone was surprised. And because, like I said, it's a it's a nice way. I mean, this is how you play against Gondor or against other Rohan if, if you want to rush him. Look, this Lourdes got slapped here from this end and kicked afterwards as well. This end is like, get out of get out of my, my face. And there we go. You're gonna see Pikachu saying, "Let's go for the end." There we go, guys. And yeah, Isengard is in a terrible, terrible situation now because he does not have anything. He just purchased the fire arrow upgrade. He's gonna purchase them on the crossbow man to put those ends on fire. But only one crossbow man with Warchan, I don't know if it's gonna be enough. This ends, they're gonna disappear soon, but this end and this this end is uh, not gonna go away. You can actually use the river to deny the to deny the fire damage or the, the burning damage over time but look at this uh fire damage you should be just going on the on the water now a heal has been used and i think he will gonna probably do, should be he should be doing that otherwise he will take damage over time more ends are coming and if you like to do that i would always recommend you to go for three bit at the same time as well i mean he's doing great job interesting choice to go for slaughterhouses instead of furnaces at the outpost and like mentioned before you can use the river or any water on the map so, you know, get the get rid of the fire. And here's a Uruk pit also at this outpost. Going for slaughterhouses. I mean, that's really interesting. That's something we don't see that often. More and more ends are coming. He has two under his control. They are permanently on the map, on the fields. Unlike the ends when you summon the end thing, the four ends, they have a they are like a special summon. So they have a time after the time runs uh, runs down and they will disappear again. Regardless if you if they ki get killed or not, but every other end you can actually recruit from the end thing They are permanent so they will stay on the map until they get killed and uh, Talking about getting killed no more Uruk pit here at this at this uh, main base from Isengard Warp pit is coming up probably that's why he went for the slaughterhouses I mean he's still doing great job in terms of map control and Rohan should be taking care of that also the outpost will be the target and there is no Uruk pit. There is no. There is not a one. There is not one crossbow man on the field. And that's what you're gonna need in order to deal with those ends, because you're gonna either spam laborers or fire arrow uh, upgraded uh, crossbow man. Because without fire arrow, they are not gonna deal damage. Ends are really strong against arrows, by the way. I mean, look at that. They are barely taking any damage. This end is barely taking any damage from those one, two, three, four, five towers shooting at him. You know. Uh, but once they have uh, fire arrows, that's gonna increase the damage since they are really weak against fire. Especially because they get, they start burning, you know, they start getting damage over time. It's like a poison damage. So they are, even, even if you end up killing the crossbow man, as long as you burn, as you are burning, you will die. And after you dead, the enemy will get uh, experience from you. That's uh, something you can actually avoid, you should be avoiding by using the river. Anyways, Outpost has been taken down here from Rohan. He's immediately taking this for himself. There we go. Another tree beard. Talking about tree beard is on the field. Works are coming. And yeah, I mean, Isengard is still controlling one outpost. But besides that, Rohan is also doing great job in terms of map control now. There are not many pikes on the field. I can only see two. Two pikes. Urukpit, however, is here. He's gonna make some crossbow. Man, Lutz is actually rank 5. He's gonna increase the damage of those crossbows by 60%. Rohan is doing great job. Immediately switching the target with the towers. That's super important. Well done here from Isengard. He knows, okay, focusing... Oh my god, this rank 5 Rohirrim is down. Uh, he knows focusing down the um, ends with the towers is not gonna work. So immediately he switched the target by clicking on the tower and right-clicking on the, on the horses to attack, start attacking them. 
get the towers are getting one shotted by